We show how landscape approaches contribute to find solutions for a sustainably managed landscape. Zola and her family live in a rural area in Zambia. They plant maize and vegetables on a field. In order to live a good life and having enough food, a healthy landscape is essential. It provides important ecosystem services which form the basis of all life. Landscapes are complex socio-ecological systems influenced by diverse factors. What if some of those factors cause an imbalance and make the landscape unsustainable? The soil on Zola's plots slowly degrades due to over-cultivation. She expands her fields into the adjacent bush and woodlands to prevent food shortages. So does the growing number of people in the landscape. Recurring droughts and erratic rains are becoming normal. Often, downpours are so heavy that lots of fertile soil is washed away. This leads to a decline in the productivity of Zola's land. The decreasing yields mean that Zola can no longer sell any agricultural products at the market in the nearby town. Therefore, she now earns less money and cannot feed her family. All factors influence each other and lead to a vicious cycle. This scenario is reality in many local contexts. Right at this moment, ecosystems are being destroyed and soon the self-healing power of those systems will be gone. But things don't have to be this way. The holistic landscape approach considers the interconnections between people, the environment, the economy, and factors like population growth and climate change. From here, it is possible to identify entry points where actions can be taken to break the vicious cycle. It is necessary to create incentives to replant trees and manage forests sustainably. This can be achieved by designating protected areas in which Zola continues to use non-timber forest products under certain conditions. By improving the soil quality and promoting better seeds, Zola's harvests are increasing. Various cultivation methods such as contour lining and agroforestry prevent soil erosion, while terracing of steep hillsides creates new cultivable land. Local action plans promote natural resource governance in cooperation with Zola and her community. For example, area closures keep free grazing animals away from fragile pieces of land and prevent degradation through overgrazing. These plans are in line with regional guidelines such as sustainable land and water management strategies. The sustainable management of landscapes strengthens the resilience of people and nature making an important contribution to several SDGs. The landscape approach helps to increase agricultural productivity to alleviate poverty, creates new employment opportunities, promotes biodiversity, fights climate change, and improves water availability and quality. Now, the situation of Zola and her community has significantly improved and prospects have been created.